name is Christy. Um, I work for the Women's Community Revitalization Project. Uh, and so tonight, um, on the agenda, we're in the welcomes. Pastor Jeff already talked about community agreements. Um, we're going to have a chance to hear who all is in the room with us tonight. Um, we've got some data about the neighborhood that we're going to share with folks, some research that we've been doing. And I know that looks like a big chunk of the agenda, but that's only going to take a short amount of time. And the majority of our meeting, we want to spend hearing from all of you about what this community needs, specifically related to affordable housing, related to the things that you love about Germantown that you would want to see preserved as neighborhood change happens, and around access to healthy and affordable food. So those are going to be the three key areas that we're talking about tonight. So this community meeting is the third of three community meetings that have been happening around Germantown over the last couple of months. And the purpose of these meetings is to, this is gonna, this is gonna uh, sound a little rough, right, but to plan for a plan. <laughs> uh, so as folks know, probably know, the city's planning commission, they do neighborhood plans, or they've been doing neighborhood plans, and they have not yet gotten to this neighborhood, but they're getting to this neighborhood in 2017. And we know too often that when the city does planning, they leave out the voices of people in the community, especially people who are directly impacted by what they're doing. And so we want to make sure that as that community plan happens and any other plans happen in the future, there's already a clear vision and a clear picture for what Germantown residents want and need that do not get lost in that process. So at the end of... Uh, at the end of these community meetings, we've been collecting stories, we've been doing research on the data, and we're going to publish a report that shares the values and the priorities of Germantown residents. So no matter what plans come in the future, there's a clear voice about what you all want to see happening right now. Um, so just to give you a real quick background for those of you that don't know WCRP, uh, Women's Community Revitalization Project, really long name, <laughs> so I often use the acronym. Um, we are an affordable housing developer that's been around for 30 years. Most of our work has been in eastern North Philly, like the neighborhood that people call Kensington, although that what they call it changes depending on, on who you ask. Um, and we really do development for low-income families. Um, and so I am happy to talk to anybody who wants to know more about our developments, about our work, or about why and how we do our work at the end of tonight's meeting. But we really want to focus this meeting on hearing from you all what you care about in the neighborhood so that we can help be part of a plan with work moving forward in the neighborhood. So really quick before we move on, do folks have questions? generally about what we're hoping to do here tonight or what we're trying to get done. Yeah. Hi, my name is Aisha, and I'm hoping to get done tonight is the bigger houses and the lots that they don't need to take care of. They put them there, but they don't take care of them. Yeah, so that is that is a really good point, right? Thinking about vacant land, abandoned lots, abandoned houses, and there's going to be an opportunity to talk about that when we get to the bullet point that says what we need to do. So Skyrocketing prices of 
of projects that are being built that are parties outside of the range of the current residents of those neighborhoods. Welcome, and thank you all for coming out tonight for what I think is a very uh, important beginning of some meetings about the community amen, that we live in, work in, and worship in. My name is Pastor Jeffrey Harley. I'm the pastor here at Harambe Baptist Church, and we are blessed to have the Women's Community Revitalization Project. Uh, we have Christy from the office over there. Let's give her a round of hands. And Ariel. And I see at least one person from the advisory committee, mm -hmm. Sister Love, oh, right here. And she is lovely. And Mindy. And Mindy, where are you from again? Uh, Interface Studio. We Interface. Yes, they did a lot. They did a lot of demographics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So now we got some community agreements here, right? And so there, be respectful of the diversity in the room. Here first to thank Councilwoman Quinone Sanchez for her leadership on the land bank, which was Oops. something we supported and she championed for us. Uh, but what we're here for today uh, is to uh, get her support for increased funding for the Housing Trust Fund. Yeah. Uh, and the Housing Trust Fund helps low-income families, seniors, people with disabilities in Philadelphia. Uh, with affordable, accessible housing, uh, but sadly our housing trust fund is funded way too low and we're looking for ways to increase that funding. So all the folks here today are encouraging uh, Councilwoman Sanchez to work with us uh, and the Council President Clark and other members of City Council and the Mayor uh, to seriously increase funding for the Housing Trust Fund. Uh, sadly, uh, we're, we've been funded about 12 to 14 million dollars a year. Washington, D.C. just approved through their city council to fund their Housing Trust Fund at 100 million dollars. All right. Our city is much larger than Washington, D.C. and yet we're funded way less. So please uh, support us. Many of the folks here are constituents in the Council <coughs> Women's District. Um, and, uh, Many of us. Yep, yep. Yeah. And we love her. Uh, we, and she's probably in session right now, correct? Okay, so uh, who's the point person in here on our staff who we could uh, sort of leave something with? And uh, that's you. What's your name? Jessica Lozada. Okay. Um, and maybe we can make an appointment in another couple of week or two if we get your card. Alicia's our card gatherer extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we'd love to have anybody who's a constituent of the councilwoman 
please say something supporting what we would like to get done and why it's important to you. Well, uh, my name is Sherry Konkula, and Yay, I'm sure. a member yeah. of the district uh, forever. Um, and so are most of the people in my organization, and we're part of the coalition. Um, uh, we would like to thank her for her leadership on, uh, you know, fighting for the trust fund. Uh, we're holding daily visuals uh, that she won't turn this into a land grab. Um, that uh, we can have additional money and resources to actually uh, have decent, accessible, affordable housing in Philadelphia. Um, we're concerned, of course, uh, because the folks that we deal with still can't get housing uh, in Philadelphia. And uh, we're concerned because uh, people, you know, in our district uh, don't have affordable housing. And there's a huge issue. Uh, and in particular in the Latino community, uh, there is yet to be a Spanish-speaking shelter in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. um, and, you know, we know every time that there's a zoning meeting held in the neighborhood, uh, that never happens. So, uh, we will continue to advocate to house people. Uh, you know, I will not go on and on, but I know the councilwoman was down there and watched us as 22 people were displaced on the corner of America and Cumberland. Mm -hmm. And that's all I will say. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for those of us that live in the district taking in those families, they would have had no place to go. Okay. Housing, I don't know about everybody else here, but shouldn't housing be a human right? Yes. 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 Absolutely. All right. Let's get some affordable housing and make sure our shelters also uh, address the needs of the Latino community. Yes. Say young. Yes. All right. It's austerity is so mean-spirited. I don't know what to mean it's about oh, so-called austerity, austerity. I mean, you know, that was something from the Middle Ages. Who wants that to say society is judged by how they treat their most vulnerable members? Yes. Right. Yes. And Philadelphia, one of the nicknames people have is Philadelphia. Now I'm ashamed of that. I've been living in Philadelphia all my life, literally. How to save my life when it when it was going to get driven down in crumbles. Yeah, me or me, I'm only, but I was lucky it was the last, the same place open, and I was able to get in. Now, there's a whole lot of sample people, and we're not only the only senior citizens around. They treat us in our, they, I think it's still underdone. I think, we, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves when we treat people here. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I mean, we vote. Yep. Yeah. I, for one, I'm. Something needs to give. Yeah. People That's had okay. people had a right to shelter, safety, food, and their health. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um. So so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we all have a purpose, have a purpose in life. And mine's and mine's going to take, take on a test that most that most of uh, back away back from, away from that impossible. That impossible. Some people, people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see I don't see anything as being impossible. 
mentality, mentality, mentality there are there are mentality, different mentalities but, but just like just there's like different there's different ways to teach people, people how to read there's, there's, there's different ways, ways to people. communicate people it's different ways it's different ways to communicate people, people and their different mentalities so i do so i do see so hope i see hope, hope and that's all coming together and understanding each other and learning to respect